Hi, this is Wally Hauk, and this whole series is called, I call it Think, Behave, Improve. How does an optimal leader think? How does an optimal leader behave? How does an optimal leader improve? Today I want to talk to you about how an optimal leader can think to create greater improvement. How can you restore certain thinking to be a great leader? So here's the title of this. Do you have a virus in your leadership brain? Can we all agree that good leaders want to optimize employee engagement? Yet sometimes the barriers, there are barriers that prevent just that, like a, like a virus in a computer that blocks the optimal performance. Sometimes leaders have assumptions about people and problems which block their ability to help people and to solve problems. There are certain assumptions about people that act like a leadership virus. Now, recently I was traveling and my Wi-Fi and my laptop stopped working, which is incredibly frustrating. It would fade in and out for no apparent reason. I tried various fixes on my own. I'm not an expert in IT. There was no results. It was so frustrating because it stopped me from being productive and, and from responding to customers. I couldn't even respond to email appropriately. So as a barrier to my productivity, now my customers saw poor performance and poor response from me, but the real root cause was what? It was the virus in my laptop. So I found Best Buy uh, uh, because I was traveling. I found a Best Buy near me. I have a warranty from uh, Geek Squad. They do a nice job. They did a quick scan. They found no issues in the hardware. They said it's got to be in the software. It's most likely a virus. The best course of action for you and the least expensive is a complete restoration of the computer. Oh my gosh, have you ever done that? Is that ever frustrating? You've got to reload everything. Sometimes leaders need to consider a total restoration of their leadership assumptions in order to achieve the des next desired level of employee engagement. Just that the computer damaged my productivity and caused me to spend time to find a way to work around the problem a flawed leadership thought acts like a virus slowing down employees' ability to perform. The biggest virus that's still alive and well, in my opinion, is the form of blame. Many leaders first look at who is at fault when a problem occurs. Think about that. Once employees know that they might be blamed for problems, what do they do? They stop putting in extra effort. They stop taking risks. They stop talking to each other. They stop communicating their mistakes. Leaders who have this virus and ask, who did this, spread the virus throughout the entire organization. Any question a leader asks will spread a message consistent with that question. So do your questions send a message of blame or do they send a message of trust and engagement? What questions are you asking? I believe that we need systems thinking and profound knowledge. Now profound knowledge is a systems thinking method from W. Edwards Deming. We need leaders to ask, how can we work as a team to improve the process or to improve the overall system? If a leader asks the right questions, he or she can build employee engagement. If they ask the wrong questions, they're going to destroy it. When we adopt systems thinking, we stop looking at individuals for answers to problems. And instead, we start looking at the system and the system's interactions for solutions. Here are some thoughts that indicate a presence of debilitating, a debilitating virus and a recommended replacement for each. Ready? Improving the individual performance will improve organizational performance. Sorry, that's a virus. Replace it with a healthy thought instead. Improving the overall system, including processes, will improve organizational performance. Here's another one. Managers can fairly and accurately and consistently evaluate employees separate from the contributions of the system and others on their team. That's a virus. Replace it with this healthy thought. It's impossible for a leader to predictably and consistently remove stereotyping, favoritism, bias, and other errors from the performance discussion process. Performance is optimized when the individual team evaluates the process at the end of the process cycles. Consider a restoration of your leadership assumptions to eliminate the virus in your brain. Look for solutions as a team. Stop the blame and look at your system for solutions, not the individual.
Thanks for listening.